today I'm going to show you how to make a kicked up version of the classic pesto. I'm going to make it with the traditional basil. I'm going to add some parsley and for a twist, avocado. Now for this recipe as well, I'm changing it up. Instead of using traditional Parmesan cheese, I'm going to be using feta. And the nuttiness I'm going to get from, again, my over-ripened avocados. So this is a nut-free recipe. That's right, my dear friends, nut-free. Now this recipe is about as fast as your pasta will boil. That's how quick it is. First step, I have my pot already boiling here to save us some time. I've also pre-portioned out four portions of fettuccine. The next thing we have to do is focus on our actual pesto sauce and our food processor. So, very simply, bunch of basil with the stalks goes in. Our parsley goes in as well. Just tear it up. The next thing to go in is our garlic. About a tablespoon goes in of minced garlic. A little pepper. A little bit of salt, not that much because we got the feta in there. Our avocados, just slice up the avocados to open them, to cut them in half basically. And this is what they look like on the inside. They're overdone, they're kind of on the mushy side, but for our purposes, they're perfect. So grab a spoon and just hollow them out. Separate them from the skin. In this recipe, I'm going to use four avocados. And that's a trick to removing the pit. So our last avocado goes in now. Just like that. Perfect. Put that aside. Next trick to this is if you're going to use avocado or any kind of other fruit or veg in any dish you make, but it kind of turns, it oxidizes with the air and starts turning brown. What I would recommend is the juice of half a lemon into this. It'll keep the greens green rather than going to that awful kind of brown color. And our feta. For this, we're not going to chintzy on the feta. We're going to do about 150 grams of feta because we're also serving four people but also we want that cheesiness we want that salty brininess in this this is going to be really awesome next and lastly is our olive oil start off with maybe a quarter cup to a third of a cup and then just start pureeing all this in the food processor to get a nice creamy consistency all right at this point it's looking a little too pasty, so we just add a little more olive oil to this. Never chintzy on the olive oil, especially if it's like a good quality olive oil. A, you get the nutritional and health benefits, and B, that oh awesome, that delicious flavor and taste that it adds. That's perfect right there. This is like just smelling so amazing. <laughs> really, really amazing. And. It's time to focus now on actually putting everything together. In other words, incorporating our pesto sauce with our pasta. All right, so our pasta is done. It's ready to go. It's slightly underdone. It's a kind of overdone al dente. That's a kind of consistency that we have here, which is perfect. You want a bit of a chew to it, but you don't want to be crunching anything. So now that we have our pan heating up, what we're going to do is add just a little bit of olive oil, maybe three or four tablespoons. Take this off and slowly start adding our sauce into our pan and let this kind of heat through. We're not cooking anything in this case. We're just kind of adding everything in. Look at the color, my God. This color is magnificent. We're adding our pasta water as we're mixing the pesto. So everything's heating through. 
the feta will actually start now to kind of melt and cream up even more. Now, tell me this doesn't look amazing. And so delicious, nutritious. And there you have it. That's pretty well it. I think what I'm going to do actually, it's a little tight. I'm just gonna grab uh, just a mug and add a little pasta water to this. And that way it'll help loosen up the sauce. Oh my God, absolutely magnificent. That's the cooking part. The next part is to plate this up and see how it turned out. Now you can get all fancy schmancy and kind of twirl it around. That's for pictures. Right now, we just want to eat. So that's the most important thing. You guys excited as I am? I'm, I'm. Mm. All the flavors are all just kind of there. The basil, the parsley, that nuttiness of the avocado, the brininess, that tang in the background of the feta. Absolutely delicious. My dear friends, there you have it. My Greek cup version of the classic pesto and a little bit more nutritious by adding the avocado in it and save a little bit of money by not throwing out those old avocados or the little bit of wilted parsley that you have. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. You know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, like this video, Please subscribe, share, send me your comments. I love hearing from you guys. Any requests that you have, you want me to make something on here, I'm more than happy to do it. You guys give me such inspiration and so much motivation to keep doing these videos. So I thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.